Addicts on top of addicts with addictions dragging me down. I don't want to go back to you. You make me so angry I could rain hellstorm down on anyone who's unlucky enough to be around me. I feel spinning, circling, obsessive emotions. I don't want to go back to you, but I don't want to let you go. I'm angry that you got to say goodbye to me before I got the courage to pull the words from my own lips. I'm angry that you took so much and gave so little on realizing that sorry doesn't really mean sorry unless you know what you're apologizing for it and sinking until it hurt. You hurt me. You, sick child, pulled the wings off a butterfly and called it beautiful. You, sick child, put the breath from a poet and called it art, called it normal, called it love. You, sick child, took the word me and replaced it with the letter U, not even Y-O-U, just you, because you, sick child, you, grammar Nazi, didn't think I was worth the effort to even spell it right. Oh. You didn't give me anything but second glances, second thoughts, second options, and the seconds are tick-tocking down, but I'm no one second choice, and this was your second chance. If you didn't want me to leave you, you should have rethought your words, rethought your touches, rethought your whispers, because when you placed your lips to my earlobe and whispered, I love you, but not like that, you created this cage that's keeping me down. You told me not to rely on you. But I rely on you being unreliable. Make plans during times you said you would see me because it's easier to leave than for you to never show. You called me addict. I am no addict unless you count being drawn to your presence, to your addictions. You're addicting and you've got me hooked. You called me supplier. I supplied you nothing but all of myself. You supplied me the means to destroy everything that was me. Replaced it with you. Not even Y-O-U, just you. Because you, Grammar Nazi, deemed me unworthy of even the simplest of satisfactions. Of anything but your control. Contrived ways to continue to restrict me till I was nothing and then walked away. But I am not nothing. I'm no one's second option. I'm no one's second choice. You, sick child, are a sick child. You, grammar Nazi, are a monster. You, lover, are not love. You're a broken, beat-down addict with addictions dragging me down. And I am so much more than white-collar heroin. You and me, sick child. You and me, grammar Nazi. You and me, monster, are done. You fed me multicolored memory walls, but I'm gonna wipe this slate clean. And we don't need to go into the obvious daddy issues. You have no problem treating me like shit. And I said, just tell me what to do. I promise I'll love you. I'll make myself good enough. I'll tear myself down. I keep razor blades and poetry books so you never know what I'm doing. What I'm doing's not good enough. You told me I like you better with your arms covered in cardboard cuts because you're prettier that way. You told me you are hot. Stop trying so hard. You told me you're the only one who with extended eye contact didn't feel uncomfortable. I told you there's nothing in them anymore. That they look dead to me. And you said, Wait. And I said, you emotionally fucked me up so bad I'm not even a person anymore and then you left me alone and I blame you just as much as you blame me and you said, oh my god, I know, I know, I know, I'm so sorry, but sorry doesn't really mean sorry if you don't know what you're apologizing for and if you were sorry, you wouldn't have done it to begin with and I'm no one's second choice, you were never my second option, first to the point of obsession, even myself became second, second nature and multicolored memory loss, I'm so much more than multicolored clouds seeping from leaking lungs so much more than white-collar heroin and I'm no one's second choice. No.